What is a variable? By Jeff Simpson. This uh, actually happened. <laughs> I once overheard a high school girl tell her math teacher, mm, the day they decided to mix numbers and letters and math, all hell broke loose. Well, this video shows how and why we use letters in math and why they're called variables. Usually we use letters to write words such as what or that or some or number or what number. <clears throat> Let's look at some easy math challenges that use words. 10 plus some number equals 15. Well, that number is, must be 5, right? Here's another one. 10 plus some other number equals 12. So that other number is 2. 10 plus some other other number is 18. And that other other number must be 8, right? Okay. 10 plus some other 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 number is 14. So that other 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 number is uh, 4. And 10 plus some other 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 number is 20. So that other 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 number must be 10. Okay. You know what? All these other, other, others are driving me crazy. This is too many words. Um, now, in instead of writing some number or some other number, let's just call it answer A. 10 plus answer A. <laughs> and so answer A is 5. Some other number, well, let's get rid of that. We'll just put in a B. You know, A, B, C, we'll use the alphabet. 10 plus B, so B is 2. C is 8. And D must be 4. And E must be 10. It's quicker to write A than it is to write some number. So you just put an A in there. In fact, we don't even need those big answer blanks. You see that blank? Let's just take it away. And we'll move the A over, move the 10 over. Now that's a little shorter, easier to look at. 10 plus A equals 15. And it's quicker to write an equal sign than the word is, so we'll just say A equals 5. Using a single letter as an abbreviation for the words some number saves time and effort. Here's a more streamlined version of the problems you saw before. 10 plus A equals 15. A is 5. 10 plus B. B must be 2. C is 8. D is 4. 10 plus E is equals 10. Using letters opens up new possibilities for thinking about numbers. But beginning math students pretty much have one basic thought. What is the answer? So, for example, if you start with 8 and add 2 to that, what's the result? Well, they think that's what the answer is, and they put the answer right there. But using a letter, we can change the kind of question we're asking, and the, the answer will be in a different location. I'll show you what I mean. If you start with 8, what number must you add to that to get this result? 8 plus something equals 10. Or we could ask a different question, and the answer will be in another place. Uh, here's x. What number would you have to start with, x is our mystery number, if you added 2 to it, and would you get this result? Asking these new questions enables us to think more deeply and flexibly about numbers so that eventually we can use our power to think with numbers to, to solve real problems in the adult world. You can also use letters when you're subtracting. 10 minus f equals 9. Well, we could have written it as 10 minus what number equals 9, or 10 minus blank, 10 minus question mark, 10 minus box. Um, any way you write it, the missing number is 1, so f equals 1. Here's some other subtraction problems using letters. g must be, what do you think? 10 minus g equals 9? It's got to be 9. 10 minus h equals 8. h is 2. You got it. 10 minus j equals 2. What do you think j is? It's got to be 8. Here's one a little more interesting. 10 minus something is negative 1, so it's k. Could it be 11? Let's find out. 10 minus 11 is negative 1. Yep, so that's it. <laughs> 
some students think that maybe maybe A is an abbreviation for some word that starts with the letter A, like apple or ant or uh, amount, but no, it's not. It uh, just stands for some number or, or what number. And so other students think that maybe letters in math are used like a secret code, like A equals 1, B equals 2, and so on. But no, they're not a secret code. Let us just stand for some missing number, and our job is to figure out what that missing number must be. <laughs> some students think that A will always stand for the same secret number, and once you figure out what A is in one problem, A will stand for the same number in every other problem. Is that right? 10 plus A equals 15, A equals 5. 200 plus A equals 300, well, if A equals 5, 200 plus 5 equals, no, it doesn't equal, that doesn't work. Okay, so A in this case would be 100. No, A doesn't always stand for the same number. It just doesn't work that way. Letters used in math are, are kind of like the weather. The weather is not the same every day. It's variable. It's In other words, it's changeable. That's what variable means. X is a very popular variable that's used in math books. Here are some problems that use X. Let's see if you can solve them. X plus 1 equals 10. Well, what number would go for X? Don't you think 9? If we put 9 over there, yeah, that proves that 9 plus 1 equals 10. How about X minus 5 equals 1? What number would fill for X? Hmm, how about 6? Yes, 6 would work. Something times 2, X times 2 equals 10. X has got to be 5. Yep. And X divided by 5. Something divided by 5 is 4. It would have to be 20, because 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, well, letters such as X can stand for a variety of numbers. The amount of letter stands for varies, and that's why letters are called variables. Here's three ways we can write 5 times 3, with an X, with a dot, with parentheses, and here's four ways we can write 5 times some number, 5 times A with an X, with a dot, with parentheses, or just 5A. This abbreviation is used a lot. You don't even have to write a multiplication sign. 5A means 5 times some number. You can use any letter you want to write 5 times some number. You can write 5A, 5B, 5X, 5Y, 5Z. But it gets a little weird if you use for the X for the variable in this situation, 5XX, because this X is a multiplication sign and this X is a variable. Okay, this looks too confusing. People usually avoid this. They'll just use a dot or parentheses. Or usually, they just write 5X. This abbreviation is preferred. It still just means 5 times some number. One thing you'll hear a lot of when dealing with variables is this. Isolate the variable. Isolated comes from a Latin word meaning made into an island. I'm all alone. Here, this variable A is isolated because it's all alone on the left side of the equation. But this variable A is not isolated because it's not all alone. See, it's over there with a 10 minus A. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And please share these ideas with other people who can benefit from them.